I hope. I reckon quite a few of you have had a good guess of what that prehistory mystery was. You were looking at these. They're made of stone. They're made in a sort of teardrop shape. And they fit quite nicely in your hand. But if you said spearhead, I'm sorry, you were wrong. These are too heavy to be spearheads. These tools, most of the time, would be used in your hand. But what was really clever about these tools is they could be used for all sorts of things. Now, if you take a moment to think about that, maybe even pause this video clip, I'll come back to you in a moment and we'll have a look at what they were. Hello again. How many things do you think one of these can do? Look at its shape. It's got a point. It's got an edge here, which is more chunky. It's got sharp edges there. And it fits nicely in your hand. What sort of jobs do you think this could do? This is actually called a hand axe. And it's a very handy tool. And one way to remember its name is to think of the jobs that it could do and count them on the fingers of your hand. One of the jobs it could do would be for drilling holes. That point there would be good for drilling into things. Maybe into bones and things like that to get a nice juicy marrow out of the middle. That's one job. The second job it could do with a sharp edge is it could be used for cutting. Cutting things. Two jobs. With this edge here, big and chunky, you might be able to use it for chopping heavy things, possibly like wood again, or bone. You might even possibly put it on a wooden handle, like an axe, like a proper axe. So that's three things it can do. You could also use it for bashing things. If you wanted to put a tent peg in, like a hammer, that's four. You might use it for all sorts of other things, like maybe striking against a piece of iron pyrites to make a fire. Um, and if you were running out of flint, if you wanted to make a smaller tool, and you'd run out of flint, and you didn't have any flint handy, you could break a piece off the back of this and make it into something smaller. Use it as like a, a special reserve of flint that you could bash things off, bash little flakes off, and make smaller tools out of. So that's at least five different jobs that this could do. Now, would you like to guess how long it would take a Stone Age person who was good at making flint tools to make one of these? Have a think for a minute. Well, the answer, believe it or not, three minutes. A Stone Age person who's good at making flint tools can make one of these in three minutes. How do we know? Because experimental archaeologists have learned how to make Stone Age tools. This one was made only a couple of years ago by a very skilled flint tool maker called Will Lord. And I watched him make this and he did it in three minutes. And it's taken him many years to learn how to make these tools. And a lot of practice. But now he's really good at it, he can do them in a few minutes. And that makes us think about something. It's possible that Stone Age people didn't even carry these tools around with them. If they had flint around where they were hunting, they might just hunt an animal and they decided when it was time to chop it up, they would just make one of these on the spot, three minutes, use it for chopping the animal up, carry them and then throw it away. And that's why we still find them today. Now these go back a very long time as well. The very early ones looked a little bit more like this. Not quite as well made, but still good for the job. And later people got better and better at working flint, more careful at it, and could produce highly skilled 
flint tools. So there you are. What you were looking at was a hand axe. Thank you.